What happens when a working class club gets taken over by two Hollywood stars here in North Wales? So let's run it back. How on earth did this all come about? Over in America, It's Always Sunny star Rob McAnelly got so inspired by the Netflix series Sunderland Till I Die, he wanted to have a go at running a football club himself. He then pulled in an A-lister lineup of Humphrey Kerr, his mate, and Deadpool himself, Ryan Reynolds, on the board to invest. And in 2020, they managed to win 98.4% of the fans' vote to take over. And the club looks almost unrecognisable to its former self when they had financial problems in 2004. From selling all the games out of the racecourse, nearly 11,000 fans to being followed by more than most championship clubs and being sponsored by TikTok and Expedia. It's cool to support Wrexham once again. The buzz has even spread to America with them being the most viewed club in the state of Iowa. Unbelievable. And they've got supporters groups in Vegas and even Florida. And they're currently expanding the stadium with a new cop with 5,500 seats, which is perfect because they're closing in on getting promoted from the National League. So can the non-league club cause an FA Cup set? But first, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrexham. <laughs> We've got some Wrexham fans here. Who's winning today, lads? Wrexham. <laughs> Charlie, Wrexham fan, score prediction? 3-1 uh, Wrexham. 3-1, who's your best player? Paul Mullen. Paul Mullen, yeah? yeah? Is he scoring today? Yeah. Okay, simple as that, two yeah. goals. Wrexham, all day. 3-2. 3-2? Yeah. 3-2 as well. Mullen, 89th minute winner. And a question for you actually, how much has the club changed since the new owners have come in? Wow, it's, it's been amazing. It's like a dream. Yeah. It's just like a dream. Yeah, it's all they needed is money. Yeah. How cool is this pub, by the way, on the corner of the ground? The turf, look at that. All on its own. Quality little building, quality. We're with Smiggy, the best graphics designer in the game, but you're a Blades fan. Yeah. Are you going to beat Wrexham today? How confident are you? Because in the league, you're doing amazing, but this is a cup. Anything can happen. They're a good side. But yeah. They're unbeaten at home, aren't they, this year? Yeah. They might do us. We're here to support Mark Howard, the main man. So big up to him, actually, for sorting the tickets. And uh, he wouldn't want to concede seven goals today. That's the thing. No, that wouldn't be nice. No, that wouldn't be nice at all. So let's see what happens. Three, two, last minute winner, Rexon. Call it out! <laughs> right, we've got a Blades fan here. Now we've heard the team news. What's that? Well, looking at it from the players getting off the coach, uh, we look pretty strong. Um, obviously, we don't know the actual 11, but the squad looks near enough for the first team squad. So, relatively confident, yeah. although with games like this, it's a cup. stay in the hat. <laughs> yeah, stay cup. in the hat. Yeah. So, I'd, I'd, I would say take a replay, but I wouldn't overly be devastated if we uh, if we do come out of it unscathed. Yeah, and of course the TV cameras are here for the Disney Plus series. Welcome to Wrexham. The Wrexham Lager. I have two Theo. I have. I have. The Wrexham Lager. Love the design, by the way. That's proper. Thought Dad should be here reviewing it, but I'll do it in space of him. It's fine. <laughs> That is a decent beverage. I thought Dad's not going to be travelling all the way to Wales for it, but I can see why he can have a few and have a good Sunday win against Sheffield United. This is going to bring the luck. I've said 2-1 in this beer review. 6.9 out of 10. Uh, no. Do you know what? Everyone's been so nice here. Listen, it's 15 minutes till kick-off. Let's get out to the stadium for the first time. Three stands right now because the cop isn't open until next season. He's busy. Welcome to Wrexham, first time here. I don't speak Welsh, but they've got a nice traditional song going on pre-match here. It's about five minutes till kick-off. The players are about to walk out. We've got a banging seat. Thanks to Mark Howard, we're actually in the family and friends area. We've got Sheffield United fans here. We've got the Red Dragons hardcore behind the goal there as well. I'm expecting scenes. Let's bring it on. I believe that is Ryan Reynolds and Rob McAnelly here for the big game against Sheffield United. What's the impact they're having on the National League in the FA Cup games? Here we go! The pyros are going off before the game. The players have just walked out in front of us. How enclosed it is between the fans are sitting in the stadium just feels, it makes you feel the atmosphere. It goes through, it runs, runs through your skin, honestly. The flares already going off, the fans, everyone's off their seat. If there's ever a chance for an upset, it is now. Big Mark Howard, he's ready to go. He sold us tickets today, ex Bolton legend. They did such a good job for us, and now he's smashing it. We're on the way here, at the race course. It's already getting tasty between the Blades and the, and the Wrexham fans. You've got to remember, this is Wales against England. <laughs> it's, still, it's 
always a battle. Oh my god. And now he's got the final mark. McBurney makes it 1 0 in one minute. Oh no, it's this game. I can't believe it. Ollie McBurney's clinical, and we know that. He will score against any level. He's only in the Premier League. And you're playing against the National League side. And if you're going to go full strength, it's expected. But I do feel that there's going to be goals in this game. Either way, let's see. You don't get this at football grounds. There's a worker just watching the game who's clapping when the corner came as well. That's unreal. This goes in. It was such a good clip. If they score from this, go on. Go on, hit it! Can't give it. Oh. But the worker's now going to collect the ball. He's off yeah, the he's off it. He's off the fence. This is cool. Great save from Mark Howard. That's, That's the ball. That's the guy. Jefferson, no chance. One of the youngest players, though, to ever play in the Premier League. They can't play against Mark Howard. Yes. 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 Oh, it's right, right, right. right. Good ball. Wrexham slowly building their way back into it. 20th minute, still 1-0. That was so quick though. Mark Howard, that's what we're going to What did I say? Not letting Jefferson score. <coughs> oh. 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 Another save. Another save from yours, mine away. He must have called that. <laughs> For different podcast name, go subscribe to him. He's up to go. Oh my. Oh my. Paul Mullins starts cracking on him. Seven minutes. Are you seeing this? Seven minutes additional time in the first half. And Mark Howard's just done so good against Jefferson. He's got him in his locker. There he is. Go on, Howard. Oh. Yes. Surely. I hear the chance for Wrexham. He's got to find a way, man. That one has to be a foul. Edge of the box. So it's several times in this game where he's not given decisions inside the box. That one has to be at least a yellow. Free kick here into one of the last minutes before half time as well. Let's see why. Oh. That's half time. Claps from the Welsh fans. Championship, you're having a large chance from Wrexham. This is, this is, got to remember, this is National League. Oh. 
got to love it. Everywhere around the stadium, look over there as well. In every corner of the ground, just people off their seats, having a party. Oh. Oh. Too good to be true, too good to be true. words to describe this game. Ten men Sheffield United find an equaliser in about the fifth or sixth minute of seven additional minutes to make it six goals and they have a man down. It's like the replay of this game we may have to go to. This has been one of the maddest games of football I've ever seen. Full time. Whatever you say about this game, I love the cup. What a game. Best game of football I've seen this season. An absolute thriller. Fair play to Wrexham. They could have knocked them out, but they've got themselves a replay at Bramall Lane. And the way they fought today, they've got a full-on chance of doing it. They should be proud. What a guy, we love him. Come on, Ryan. Ryan, the big man, look, he's saying hello to the, to the, the young Wrexham fans there. 47 million followers on Instagram. You buy a football club in Wrexham and en route to, to League Two, as things stand, and he nearly knocked Sheffield United out the cup. This guy knows what he's doing. Fair play to him. What a game. We're on the pitch, what a game, what an atmosphere. Such a shame Wrexham couldn't make it through, but fair play to Sheffield United in the end. Do you know what? We've got a big someone up though. It's the keeper. It's Mark. Oh, it's, it's, doing, what Mark? a guy. Best podcast in the game. I almost heard you from the stand say, yours, mine. Away! <laughs> <laughs> I should have done for that the last call. Last one. <laughs> Heartbreak. What was going through your head? Uh, that last moment. Just see it out. They're down yeah. to 10 men. Obviously, we've switched off a little bit and it's so frustrating, but still, great game. The player at the end gave it a bit bigger, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. it's hard, but oh, we've got another chance. We'll see yeah. what happens. Mate, 30,000 fans. Wrexham, I don't know how they're going to break, but they're going to be noisy. Very Surely, you've got to believe you're going to make it through to the next round. After what have we done tonight yeah. and after the Coventry game, we've got a great chance. We'll just yeah. see what happens. See what happens. Do it for Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, go subscribe to his podcast. He sorted us out today. Yours, mine away. Podcast. It's Thank on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. Wrexham fans, one of the best.